everybody. It's Shelby with a Chick Plus 3. If you're here for the Dollar Tree haul, then I got a great one for you. I'm going to jump right in. What do you say? Let's go. So my Dollar Tree did not disappoint. I found some fantastic things. The first items I want to share are these. I hope I didn't just blind you. Look at these chargers. Aren't they absolutely gorgeous? So I just picked up a pair of these. You can use these for crafting or you can use them on your dining table, but absolutely beautiful for a dollar a piece. And at the front of the store was this. Look at these. Now, I just grabbed the pot holders, but this is a brand new pattern. They had this on glasses. They had this on dishes. I've never seen the likes of it before. It's by the Home Collection, Green Briar. These are solid on the back, but that is kind of like has a 1950s vibe going on it with that circle so i thought the design was cool but i was very good my cupboards are chock full of glassware i cannot fit another single item so i just went with the pot holders this next find is brand new to me look at this you get eight little mini bales of hay. These are adorable for my fall decor. Now in the past I have picked up this straw bale which I always thought was small but compared to these this thing is huge. You can see the size difference here but I had never seen these before so you know I was picking up a package of those. The next thing I picked up this is an oldie but goodie and it is by Crafter Square and it's the two pack of the scarecrows. They have them in all different patterns and little ribbon prints and choices. So I went with this. I just thought this screamed traditional autumn. When I came around the corner and saw these, my eyes bugged because I saw a crafty girl haul these and I put them right on my wish list and look at these. So this is the decorative card stock. You get two pieces in here. That is a close up of the pictures absolutely adorable. This is a Greenbrier product. Again, they are so coming through for us crafters. They are just stepping up their game. So I think the prints on this are fantastic. This is a very autumnal theme. And then they also had a Halloween theme. So I grabbed one of these also. And again, you get two pieces. Now this one, they are referring to it as journaling cards. So I'm not really sure what the difference is because this says decorative card stock. This says journaling cards. They're both crafters square. Now this one does have the spider web on it, signifying that it is the Halloween line. And this one has the maple leaf, signifying that it's the fall line. But they are the exact same sizes, the same number of sheets. So I'm not sure why they called one journaling card and one decorative card stock. And I think my favorite graphic is going to be the black cat sitting on the jack-o'-lantern. I am just <laughs> literally in love with this. As promised today, I am also going to share the Cheetos Flamin' Hot <laughs> Mac and Cheese review. I hauled the Cheeto Mac and Cheese the other day, so we made it, and at the end of this video, I will let you all know how that turned out. All right, the next item I picked up is also by Crafters Square, and it's four pieces, but it is magnificent. Four giant pop-out birds. Look at the set of parrots there, and I believe that I read that parrots mate for life. So I don't know, I could be wrong. I was just reading up on some birds recently, and what I know I'm not wrong on is that they said seagulls, believe it or not, typically mate for life. And the other thing I found crazy is that seagulls live 18 years, up to 18 years old. That seems crazy, but how awesome for a bird in the wild. But in any case, back to my stickers. Look at the gorgeousness of these. 
just giant pop-out quality stickers. I think these are beautiful. So if you're a fan of birds, to use these in your crafting, you will not go wrong. Now these I know definitely were out last year. They're by Crafters Square. They have changed the label with the little spider web there, but it is the pack of three of the little witch hats. And these are just a lot of fun to use in your decor. Now, if you do not want them to have this like color pipe cleaner on it, that comes right off and underneath is just a plastic hat. So you could remove the colored pipe cleaners and you would just have a black plastic witch's hat and then you could cover it with your own fabric, you could paint it, so do whatever you want with it, but I just thought I would point that out for you all. But I did pick up one package and you get three in a pack. Next, I picked up another little blind bag. This one is called Yo-Yo Mystery Bags, and this is a lip gloss surprise. You just get one little lip gloss in here. There are the options of the ones you can get. It's for ages six and up. I qualify for that, but I will be giving this away. But I thought that was a fun find. Now, I think the fun find of fun finds, though, is this. Look at this little dishwashing set. How adorable. It has the little bottle of detergent, this little strainer, and then you have some cups, some flatware and a little plate. It's cooking fun, nine pieces, dishwashing set. I just thought that this was so adorable. I also picked this up. You get 10 pieces. It claims it is a bonus pack with these two extra little elastics on it. This is by the brand Scoonchie, or that's how I pronounce it. I'm really not sure how you're supposed to pronounce it, but that's what I've always called it. So you get 10 pieces, but in this particular pack with the bonus, it brings it up to 12. And these are the no damage hair ties. So these are always a great thing to pick up at the Dollar Tree because you cannot beat getting them for a dollar. And I also found more stickers by Jot. I absolutely love the line jot at the Dollar Tree. 300 pieces in this. So this one is a pirate theme and then I also just got this theme which is all stars. How wonderful would this be to donate to a classroom for a teacher to use all varying size stars to. I don't know if they still do that, do they? I remember when I was a kid I was thrilled to death to get that little star on my paper in the classroom. And if you got the red star, that was the star of all stars. I would have no idea if they actually were color-coded for the greatness of your paper or not, but I know I always felt like the red star was the coveted star. I don't know if any of you remember that or you got stars or stickers on your paper, but it's funny, right? The little things that keep us happy, especially, you know, when we're kids, uh, it's really a fun thing. And so I thought this would be perfect to donate to a classroom. I also want to share some more photos from our friends of the crafts that we're working on. I am having so much fun doing this. Everybody has incredible talent. today but I will be back with more Dollar Tree haul and so until then everybody please be well